Now what's changed most in the last five years is how you access that information. So IoT is the internet of things. First, it's the device you use to connect to the internet. You all prefer your smartphone over a laptop. Maybe you prefer a tablet. The device you use is changing, and there are currently 26.3 billion network devices and connections. That number is projected to go over 100 billion. Now, if we're 7 billion people, and 100 billion devices, does that mean that all of us are going to have 25 devices, 30 devices, 100 devices? No. What it means is that we'll talk about the Internet of Things in the context of how you as an individual connect and participate. But where this really blows up is when things start connecting to each other. And they become autonomous in their behavior. They share information without anybody being involved. They make decisions about what to do with information without anybody being involved. And so as you think about that growth and change, the possibilities of what you could do with that are amazing and a little bit scary.